Let me show you what kind of video of Swisky put it. Just some kids doing funny stuff. So I actually gave hundred dollars to whoever went. There is Henny. Whoever won the double unders. I, I haven't yet counted counting down Mario, the ready? double unders, but check out the video. Can you see it, Mario? Yep. Yo guys, whoever does most double unders for 10 seconds wins hundred dollars. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> Yusuf going all out with the double moves, but I think he did more than Henny. But write in the comments who is the winner, guys. <laughs> Gonna be uploaded today, actually, in, a, in an hour or something. Swiss keep. We haven't done a training workout yet, but uh, we went to the hairdresser, to the barber, because I wasn't satisfied with the cut that I got the previous day. Now I'm feeling fresh as hell. And we went to Zara just to get some kind of joggers because I don't, I don't have that many clothes I didn't get huh hi the clothes yeah well there you go well, pretty cool actually pretty pretty comfy uh, I don't need any kind of jeans right now but you're probably gonna see them in the next videos um, and we're about to do later a training a pull-up session I don't know I'm probably gonna do 200 pull-ups 20 sets of 10 and uh, yeah, I think that's for now on. <laughs> the brothers are playing table tennis right now. Faisal's brother is here on a visit. Let's see who wins. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> who is the winner? Who is the winner? Fidik? <laughs> nice. We, we just wanted to show a little bit for the vlog. The brothers, the brother competition right now. You can show them. Yeah. I think we can just push it like this, right? Yeah, yeah, we can push. Wait, wait. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, come on, Yosef. Fight, fight. But Faisal, give Faisal, give him the best. The better one. He's he's weaker than you, man. Oh, <laughs> give him. Heiser has a pretty good stance, actually. Heiser has a very good stance, and he doesn't miss it. He's always like, yeah, he's he's. Oh. He's he's always he's always low near the table, but he's also very tall. That's why it's it's crucial for him, actually. Right back to him. Right back to him, man. Good field. Not enough. Spin. Five five? Five five. <laughs> oh! 6-0. Six 6-0? Zero. Six zero. Cross. Yeah. Should I crush uh, Diane quickly? No, no, I'm not gonna play right yeah, now. I'm, I'm a, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Yeah, yeah. I have to listen. 200 pull-ups. Must you 200 pull-ups? 200 pull-ups, yeah. Do it with me. Let's go. Is that exciting? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Let's go!
was gemacht. <lacht> ich, ich can't speak German, man. Nein, no. Was hast du gemacht? Was hast du gemacht? Das hast du gemacht. That means, what did you do? What have you done? Right? Uh, not much. We did a nice workout. I did around 150 push -up, pull ups. I did um, se se sex or se six. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Seven sets of uh, triceps, uh, pull down, and we played a lot of tennis. Once again, you lost 11 sets on one. You, at least you got one set, right? Yeah. At least once. You even lost from Yusuf. I don't want to say the word, but... Uh, I was tired, man. Huh? I was tired. I hope you win. I hope you start winning. Yeah. I really hope for you. I'm probably even more sad than you are. But yeah, I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I need to post this whiskey video. And um, I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to speak with the audience a little bit. Uh, me and the audience only. Later. Okay? Well, it's up, guys. Uh, it's 9 p.m. And I got to prepare the vlog. <laughs> and to finish it. So I'm going to be speaking about... Um, me, what else? It's my YouTube channel. <laughs> I want to say something that how grateful I am for my life and how everything is going in the right way, in the right direction. And I have good people around me. I have a great community. I do what I love and I'm just uh, building and building more and more. Um, I'm super satisfied with the content that we're creating also for, for the app, for Swisscape and for my own uh, page, of course, and I cannot be any much more happier than that, really. I'm, I'm just extremely thankful for everything to you guys, my biggest support, to God, to my mother, to my father, to my brother, everybody around me. And I can, and I can remember the times when I was a waiter. Um, I was... I was waking up every day and I, and I was telling myself I'm not at the right place, I need to get better, I need to do something. I was going to work unhappy. I couldn't wait to, I just couldn't wait to, uh, for my shift to get over and to go home and do something different. And um, the time when I found Jump Probe, it took a while until I knew that that was the thing that I'm going to be doing my, my whole life. Not necessarily my whole life, but actually with Swiss Keep, I think it's going to be I'm always going to be the part of Swiss Kid because that's actually me. That's my creativity and um, I want to really build it big. I want to build it big and I want to have the biggest impact in Jump Rope and the whole world. So what was, it, what was I saying is when I was a waiter, I was extremely unhappy like every day. I wasn't enjoying the work. I, was, I didn't have also my... Um, my uh, how do you say Selbstbewusstsein? My confidence. My confidence was um, was low. I was I was feeling I was feeling I wasn't feeling not uh, that great when I was around people. Um, I wasn't feeling actually good enough somehow, right? Because I was a raider. I was feeling bad. I was feeling low, which is not a bad thing actually. But I always wanted to be great. I want. I always wanted to be successful. And until I found my way with Jump Probe, I did a lot of stuff. I was selling airport cases. I started with <laughs> this kind of business. Um, but I didn't really um, concentrate that much on it. I was just doing it for a while. After that, I started selling clothes um, from different clothes, for different brands like reselling and stuff like that. It also didn't work out. My third thing, which I, in, I invest a lot of time around a year, a year and a half was trading. Mm. And it was hard. It was hard to give up because I invested money, I invested time. Um, one and a half year, around one to one and a half year. And at the end, I just thought like, I don't know if it's even possible. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's possible to be a, uh, a good trader when you don't have, actually when you don't have uh, a lot of when you don't have any kind of uh, capital, capital um, amount of money to start trading to, uh, to gain more, then it's almost impossible. With, and I didn't have money. I have like I had like two thousand, two thousand dollars in or francs in my bank account. So 
that was definitely not enough. So it was really a hard thing to give to give this up because I also told I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and I want to be successful in that. But then jump rope came, and I thought that's really my thing. At first, of course, there were like so many times, so many times uh, between the role where I, where where I thought I wanted to give up because nothing was working. But the thing that I did the most was, uh, and that helped me the most was that I invested um, money in jump ropes like 5,000 francs um, and I invested that money and I told myself I'm not going to stop until I don't sell them all. So that was the big thing that was keep, which kept me going, going, going and I didn't stop. So, so when you're about to do something, I want to tell you this, when you're about to do something and you really want to be successful, you got to go all in. You shouldn't have plan B, you shouldn't have plan C, uh, plan C. That would prob that's probably the worst thing that you can do. You gotta go absolutely all in with all of your energy, with everything that you got, and just do it, fucking do it, right? I remember when I was working as a waiter, I really wanted this to work out. So I was, I was working a nine hour shift, nine hour shift, and it was like, um, I don't know how it's called, but it was like uh, from nine to, to one thirty, that was like um, four and a half hours, and after that, from five thirty to to eleven, something like that. Four and a half hours, and that makes two and a half, five and a half. That's that was around ten hours, nine to ten hours shift regularly. So when I was doing when I was doing that between the between the um, like between one one thirty and five thirty, I was going to the gym. I was editing my videos. Also, this as soon as I got home, I was. I was editing my videos in the morning. I was waking up even before the work. I was waking up trying to send the ropes. I got like probably two to three orders a day at maximum, as as at best. But still, my editing, training, and uploading, and just hope. I just I just had that hope that it's gonna work out. So yeah, this is. I think that that here where I am. It's definitely not grand, uh, granted. I, I really work my ass off. Not, not that long, to be honest. I think there are people which are, which are trying to be successful for five, 10 years, and, and after that, it suddenly happens after 10 years, right? With me, it happened like quite, quite fast, to be honest, for around three and a half years. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm extremely gr grateful for everything. So, yeah, I just wanted to say a big thank you to you and everybody who's watching the, this vlog, which is not that interesting to be honest <laughs> from my point of view because I don't watch vlogs like that. But still, to be interested and in just like a, a person who who you don't even know, who you just saw on the internet, uh, interested in me, I just thank you for just spending the time watching this. And yeah, I want to give you a big heart. So have a nice evening, have a nice evening guys. Bye bye.